Hi guys, this is Amanda and I have a 30 minute Pilates bar workout for you today. For this class, all you're going to need is a yoga mat and something to hydrate with and a nearby wall or chair or anything that's close to you to lean on and it's going to act as our bar for today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Take your feet out into a wide second position. Arms come out to the side and up. We're just going to take this down and swing left to right, opening up those hamstrings, maybe taking your hands behind your back or on the ground. Bring your heels in towards each other. We're taking this down. Elbows come to the insides of the knees, swinging this back and forth here. The stretch feels good when you haven't stretched in a long time. And straighten both legs here. Take this out into a downward dog. Walk out your heels. All right, right foot comes forward. We're taking this into a lunge. Let me turn this way. We're taking this into a lunge. Maybe bouncing up and down. And left foot comes in to meet the right. Step that right foot back and bounce. Opening up those hips. And turn this back towards the front. Elbows come down to the mat. Slowly, we're going to start to bend and straighten here, keeping our gaze and our focus down. Slowly bend and rise, bend and rise. Remember, throughout this workout, you can add your own music. Great job. Five, four, three, two more, two, and one. Great job. Go ahead and bring this up. Right hand is coming over to the left. Release, left hand, and up. Right foot crosses over the left. Bring this all the way down. And slowly bring this up. Left foot over the right. And up. Right ear over left shoulder. Right ear over right shoulder. Left ear over left shoulder. And big shoulder rolls to the back of the room. And forward. All right, throughout this class, we're gonna be working through a few positions. First position is gonna be heels or in towards each other, toes into the outside walls. You're gonna be looking like a V. Feet should be in a shape that's just like this. This is gonna be first position. Second position, heels are still in towards each other. This time we have a gap in between the legs. Toes are to the outside walls. We wanna make sure our core is engaged throughout this entire time. You're standing up nice and tall. And then fourth position is gonna be one foot is in front of the other, whether that's the right foot like this, or the left foot. And then releve, your heels are gonna come off of the ground. We're going up and down, up and down. We're gonna be doing releve throughout a couple of positions here, but I just want to throw those at you right now so you know what's going on in the next 25 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and start in that first position that I mentioned, hands are going on the hips. You also have the option to go ahead and come to your bar here, or you can come out to the center. We're starting out in first position. Hands are going on our hips. We're taking this down to a plie and up. Your knees are going over your toes. Staying up nice and tall, core is engaged. Make sure your chin is away from your chest. Now it may seem easy at first, but the more you do, the more your legs are gonna to start to burn. Just getting the hang of it here. Now we've got five more, and then we're gonna start to pulse at the bottom. Three, two, and one. We're pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, five, four, two, and one. Great job. Take this out into second position. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we just did. This time we're taking our arms out in front of us like this, like you're holding a big beach ball. Take it down into a plie and up. Down 
and up. In this position, it's important that you're not leaning over like this. Stand up nice and tall. Sitting down like you're going into a chair. You want your back to be tall like you're on a string going straight up and down. Great job. We've got five more here before we start to pulse at the bottom for 10. Here we go. And 10, nine, eight, six, five, three, two, and one. Shake this out. We're coming right back into that first position. This time we're gonna have a little bit of a combination. We're going down to plie into first and out to second. Into first and out to second. Your hands can go wherever is the most comfortable for you right now. Make sure you're going down and up. Great job, guys. Those legs are burning now, right? We've got five, four, three, two, and pulse, pulse, pulse. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those feet, your toes in towards each other. Bring this over. We're gonna take this right over to our left side. Take a moment to recover. All right, slowly bring this up. Bring it back into first position. Heels are in towards each other. Toes to the outside walls. We're gonna do exactly what we just did over to the left side. So down to a plie and out. Down to a plie and out. Make sure you're going straight up and down. Your core should be engaged. Great job. We've got a few more here before we start the countdown. Great job. We've got five, four, three, two, and we're pulsing, and five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake this out. Now, we're gonna take our left foot in front of the other in that fourth position, <laughs> fourth position that I was talking about earlier. It's just like this. Now, we're going back into a curtsy lunge and then that foot is gonna spring forward. So we're taking it back and up. Now, this does take a little bit of balance. You always have the option to take that down to a lunge and bring it together. So we're starting out here. We're gonna do about five here before we crank it up just a little bit, as much as we can at least. All right, we're going down and up, down and up. Great job. You can always hold on to your bar here for a little bit more extra balance. We've got three, two, and one. And we're pulsing in the back for a 10. Nine, eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring this together. Whew. Take it down for a recovery. All right, slowly bring this up. Go ahead and just right foot is going in front of the left in fourth position. This is your leg placement. We're taking it out to fourth. We're going down to a curtsy lunge, hello queen, and bring it up, down and up, down and up. If you wanna take your arms back, you can. We're getting used to this movement here before we take it up. Make sure you're breathing. 
I know you can hear me breathing. Here we go. Two more, two and one. We're gonna crank it up and down and back. Down and back. Great job. And we've got five, four, three, two, and one. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, and one. All right, bring those feet together. We're gonna take a second to recover together. Take this down into a downward dog. Knees come down. Big breath. Arch the back, chin goes to the ceiling. And belly button into the spine. Big breath. Big breath. Big breath. Big breath. All right. Go ahead and pop those feet back up. Bring it up into a downward dog. Walk those feet forward. Slowly bring it up. All right, we're going back to the bar here. I'm gonna turn this way, just so you can see the side of me. My left hand is going on the wall for my bar. I'm gonna take my right foot forward, slight bend in the left leg. I'm taking this forward and up into a passe. Forward and up, forward and up. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. We're gonna go ahead and take that arm forward. Great job. Keep going. We're gonna count down from 10 here. We've got 10, nine, seven, six, four, three, two, and one, we're taking it out for a 10. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake this out. We're taking this over to the other side. You guys are doing great. We're about halfway through the workout at this point. Make sure you're hydrating, staying on top of how your body feels. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna take it over to the other side. Right hand is going on the wall. Arm is coming out. We're going forward and up. Great job. My quads are burning. We've got 10, nine, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're bouncing for our 10. Nine, eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake this out. I'm gonna face towards you for this one for our next exercise. But you can also put your left hand back on the bar for a little bit more stability. Feet are going out into first position. Hands are going wherever you like. You can go out in front into a beach ball, onto your hips, out to the side, up to the top, or you can just do a little dance, whatever feels right for you. We're taking our feet out into first position, going up into a releve and slowly bringing it down. I want you to focus on engaging your core and making sure you're not popping up and popping up. This is gonna be a nice and slow motion. So slowly bring it up, slowly bring it down. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Great job. I like to place my hands here just so I can make sure that I'm not popping myself up and to make sure that my core is engaged. One, two. One, two. Great job. Here we go. We're going to start counting down from eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Breathe, five, four, 
three, two, one more, one. Take it back up, we're holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring it down. Shake out those feet, take a little bit of a rest. Whew, my calves are on fire, but that's how I know I'm working. So taking this out into second position, not as large of a gap as we were for our first few plie exercises, maybe just a little bit closer together this time. Hands are on our hips or out or dancing, whatever feels right for you. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips for this one. We're doing the exact same thing, taking up for one, two releve, one, two down. Slowly up and slowly down. We've got one, two, one, two. One, two, great job guys. Like I said, you may not feel it in the first few, but then once you get to like number 10, you're burning. One, two, one, two. Here we go. We're eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one more, one. Take it up and hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Shake those feet out. Do whatever you gotta do to loosen your legs up. We're gonna take it right back into that first position that we were just in. Heels are touching. This time we're gonna plie, a wide plie. Take our heels up and we're gonna pulse here. For this, you might definitely need a bar. I'm gonna hold on to this wall right here. So I'm taking it up into first position. Heels are as close together as I can possibly get them. And we're pulsing, just like this. Great job, continue to breathe. If you can, go a little bit higher on your heels, you can. Here we go. We're about to count down from 10, nine, eight, Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. We're gonna do one more set of those, but I'm gonna take it down for a stretch first. All right, slowly bring this up. One more set of exactly what we just did. Remember your hands can go anywhere. I'm putting my hand right here on the wall for a little bit more stability. So going down to a plie, heels come off of the mat. Here we go, here we go. We're bouncing, we're bouncing, we're bouncing. Here we go, here we go. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Here we go, hold it. Core engage and down. We're holding it. One more and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, sorry, I had to throw in a little surprise there. But you know, if you come to my classes at the rack, there's lots of surprises during class. So it's just a little taste of it. Go ahead and shake out those legs. All right, remember to stay hydrated during this workout. We have about 10 minutes left. We're gonna do about eight minutes of working exercises and then we're gonna go ahead and cool down. All right, take it down to your mat, coming down to our elbows, slowly bring those toes off the mat. All right, we're taking our foot out Make sure you can see. We're taking our toes out and we're swapping directions. We're gonna take this nice and slow at first until we get the technique. There we go. You should feel this in the lower part of your core. All right. Now, if you want this to be a little bit more challenging, you can release your elbows off of the mat, 
just like this. Great job. I'm gonna put my elbows back down. We're gonna count down from 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet come back in together. We're jumping right into the next exercise. Toes come off of the ground. We're taking it up and tap the toes and up and tap the toes. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Breathe. I like to let out a big breath when my toes come up. Great job. We've got five, four, three, two, one more. Hold at the top and slowly bring it down. We're gonna rest this on the mat and we're jumping into one more set of the last exercise. My dog is just walking all in the back of this video. Maybe taking the arms overhead. All right, slowly bring this back up into the last position we were just in. All right, two feet are coming up and we're tapping the ground. Up and down, up and down. Release that big breath at the top. Here we go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Great job, guys. All right. This time we're going up into a boat-like position, not boat, but a boat-like position. Hands are coming out, slight curve into your core. Right foot's coming up towards your right hand and down. Now, your feet can be bent or straight for this exercise. Sometimes I prefer bent. Sometimes I like it to be a little bit more straight. It just depends on the day. I think today I'm gonna go a little bit more towards the straight side. So, curve the core. One. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Switch into the other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Release. Stretch the stretch this out. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. This time we're gonna do five on each leg. Make sure you're taking a little bit of a rest between these exercises, whatever feels right for you. Take those arms out. We got five on each leg. Here we go. Arms come out, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. See, look at that, easy peasy. Take this over to your left hip, slight bend in your left leg, right leg is gonna be straight out. Now, if you wanna be on your elbow, you can, or you can take this all the way down on your elbow. We're taking our right foot up towards the ceiling and slowly lowering it down. For this exercise to be effective, your hips need to be stacked on top of each other, and your toes need to be facing towards the wall that you're facing. So we're taking it up and down, up and down. Great job isolating that right leg. Here we go. We're counting down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, slow to get up. Reverse this over to the other side. 
Now, it's completely normal if one side feels a little bit better than the other. I get it. We're, we're all different. It's fine. Take it down. Right foot goes to a slight bend underneath us. Or you can take it all the way down. Just like this. We're taking it up and down. Up and down. Great job. We're counting down from eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we're gonna stay on this side that we're on right now. This time, go ahead and bend the knees just a little bit or stretch them out. Feet are on top of each other. So top knee goes up to the ceiling and slowly lower it down, up and down. Make sure you're breathing. Sometimes I hold my breath when I'm in this position. I don't know why, so make sure you're breathing. We're kidding, counting down from eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Great job. Slowly bring this up. Go ahead and roll on over to the other side. It wasn't a very good roll, but feet on top of each other. Here we go. We're going up for eight. Eight, seven, six, oops. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, one last exercise of the day. We're standing up, we're going over to the bar. Now, actually I'm gonna go right here. Hands are going right here. Left foot's going out. This is our last, last exercise. You guys can do it, I'm confident in you. Here we go, leaning forward, foot's coming up, we're going a little bit of an angle. We're working our glutes here, glute burnout. Here we go, we've got eight reps. Lean over a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, we're taking it over to the other side. We're doing the exact same thing. Here we go, I'm proud of you. We've got 20 seconds left, we can do this. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we have finished all of our working exercises. Let's go ahead and bring that heart rate down. Take those feet out into the second position. Hands are going down to the mat. All right, walk those hands out. Feet are coming in towards each other. Lean this over, go ahead and grab the back of those legs. Slowly roll this up. Grab that left foot with your left hand. And right foot with your right hand. Oop, a little wobbly. There we go. <laughs> Release that foot. Right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Right and left. Slowly take this down to the mat. We're gonna take it down into a froggy. Hands come up. Go ahead and flip those fingers over and lean this forward. And bring those hands back up. Flip them over. Lean forward and back. All right, release this. Taking it down to a straddle. Legs come all the way out. Lean this forward. All right, it's a butterfly. Slowly bring this over. All right, walk those hands back. Right, right elbow comes overhead and left. Right arm comes overhead and left. All right, shake those arms out. 
And that is all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me for this 30 minute Pilates bar workout. I hope you feel a little bit better than you did when you started. And that's all I have. So I'm Amanda and I'll see you next time.